Imagine waking up tomorrow in a world where AI has eliminated cancer, where every child has a personal tutor, where clean energy powers everything, where poverty is a thing of past. Now, imagine a different tomorrow, where AI has eliminated millions of jobs, where misinformation runs rampant, privacy no longer exists, and humans have lost control. These aren't just two different futures. They are two sides of the same coin. And the question is, which side will we land face up? For us to answer that question, let's look at where we stand with AI today. Let me ask you something. How many decisions in your daily life is influenced by AI? Well, it's more than you think. AI decides the news you read, the jobs you see, the friends you reconnect with, and even sometimes the healthcare you receive. Look around you. AI is mapping building blocks of life in labs. It is discovering galaxies in space. It is driving cars on your roads. It is becoming as essential as electricity. So the question isn't whether AI will transform our world or not. The question is, whether we are ready. Last year, 33,000 people, including prominent tech leaders and AI researchers, signed an open letter asking for a pause in development of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4. Not because they fear technology, but because they understand its power. In America, Pew data suggests that 52% people are more concerned than excited about AI. Why so? Are we building the most powerful technology in human history without an instruction manual, without guardrails, or even without a consensus on where we are going? Remember the two futures that we imagined at the beginning, the good one and the bad one? Those are not just possibilities. They are already unfolding right here in front of us. And let me show you how. AI decoded nearly every known protein, over 200 million of them. It's like suddenly having a blueprint of every part of the human body. Medicines that once took years to develop are now being discovered in months by AI. AI even passed medical board exam, not just passed, it actually achieved doctor level performance. You know, imagine having world class medical information available at any time at your fingertips. In space, AI analyzed NASA's telescope data and found two new planets that astronomers had previously missed. In climate science, AI predicted flooding in India's river basins with strikingly high accuracy, sending early warnings to millions of people. But remember that other future, the one with job losses, with privacy breaches, loss of control? Well, unfortunately, that future is unfolding too. According to the AI incident database, number of incidents related to misuse of AI has increased 24 times in last 10 years. Wow. Just last year, ChatGPT leaked thousands of private conversations. Your secrets exposed with a single glitch. A leading algorithm in healthcare was found to systematically discriminate against black patients. AI recruiting tool being used by a major global tech company was found to reject women candidates at a much higher rate because it was trained on decade-long data of male-dominated hiring patterns in tech industry. AI impersonated President Joe Biden's voice. Voters received fake calls. Democracy itself was threatened by technology. So you might be wondering, 
What's causing these problems? Why do we keep seeing these issues? Well, I think there are three major challenges that we need to address. First, the black box problem. When a prominent bank used AI model for its loan approval system, they found out they couldn't fully explain why the system made certain decisions. Imagine being denied a loan, a job, and no one can tell you exactly why. Second is the safety challenge. Researchers at a major AI labs found multiple instances where AI systems bypass their own safety restrictions. It's like building a security system that can figure out how to shut itself off. Then the last one is concentration challenge. Only a few handful of companies today have the amount, the power, the compute power, as well as the resources required to build modern day advanced AI systems. So you must be thinking now that with challenges this big, what can we possibly do? So let me tell you one thing. Future of AI isn't, isn't a spectator sport. We don't get to sit in the bleachers and watch it all play out. Whether you are a user, an organization leader, or a government, we all have a critical role to play. So here's call for action. So let's start with you. Yes, you, the everyday user of AI. Educate yourself. Understand how AI works. Research has showed that AI literate users are far better equipped in identifying misuse and biases in AI. And it's not just educating yourself about the technology, but also educate about yourself about your rights and your responsibilities as well. When you interact with an AI system, be it a voice assistance or a self-driving car, you leave a digital fingerprint. You are training that system with your actions, your preferences, and even your biases. So remember, next time, be a little bit more thoughtful. When you are leaving that feedback, you are just not being a consumer. You are also being a teacher. Next. Demand accountability from those organizations. Ask the tough questions. Where is my data going? How is this algorithm making this decision? We have seen how social media platforms changed their policies when users insisted on accountability. As consumers, we have the power. Our voices shape the future. They shape the marketplace. Lastly, Use AI responsibly. When you see that AI-generated content, that, that fake video, that fake news, don't share and amplify it. Become part of the solution, not the problem. Now let's turn to the organization leaders in the room. As your companies are building AI systems, you have a very special responsibility. Start with baking in transparency. Your AI systems should be like glass houses. People should be able to see how decisions are being made. No more black boxes, please. Next, focus on fairness. Train your AI systems on diverse set of data that represents everyone, so the outcomes are not biased. Now let's come to the policy makers. You are the sheriffs of AI. We need enforceable regulations. European Union's AI Act is a wonderful start. It puts very strict controls on risky AI systems. We need every nation to follow that suit. The time for voluntary compliance is over. We need strict laws and real penalties for companies that cut corners. So all these call for actions isn't just good to have actions, they are urgent necessities. Let me share some numbers with you that will tell you the urgency of the matter. By 2030, AI is 
expected to contribute $15 trillion to the global economy. That's not a number. That's more than the economies of India and China combined. We are witnessing the largest gold, technological gold rush happening in the human history. Here's the disturbing part. It concerns me and should concern you as well. According to AI index, the global private investments in AI reached $92 billion, while estimates show that only millions, not billions, were spent in AI safety. So if I quickly do a back of the paper napkin math, it means that for every $1,000 that was spent in a making AI more powerful, only $1 was spent in making it safer. Yes, only $1. Concerning, isn't it? Of the thousands of research papers published on AI yearly, only 2% focus on AI safety. Pause and think about that for a moment. Would you board a plane if I told you that 2% of its budget went towards its safety? <coughs> now, right? Would you give your child the medicine if I told you only 2% of its development focused on testing? Would you live in a skyscraper if only 2% of its engineering was focusing on its structural safety? Yes, that's exactly what we are doing with AI. We are building the most powerful technology in human history with the safety budget of a school bake sale. We wouldn't accept this level of risk in aviation, in medicine, in construction. So why are we accepting this level of risk in a technology that is so powerful? This imbalance isn't just wrong, it is dangerous and it must stop. Remember the two futures that I showed you at the beginning? We aren't choosing between them anymore. We are living with them both. Every technology that has improved human life, right from medicine to aviation, did so because we insisted on safety alongside progress. Yes, we can have both. We can have both safety along with progress. We can have both responsibility along with innovation, both control along with speed, but only if we act now. The future of AI isn't written in its code. It is written in our choices. And those choices begin today. Thank you.